Hey guys, today I am meal prepping lasagna. And full disclosure, with this recipe and pretty much any other recipe I have for makeup look or anything I do, I'm going in without any sort of plan. I've only made lasagna one other time and it was a raw vegan lasagna. A lot of the ingredients I'm gonna be using are pretty much the same, except for the noodles I get to use these gluten-free lasagna noodles. The ingredients are corn flour, rice flour, and then mono and diglycerides. If you do not like using things like this, I totally get it. You can just mandolin slice long strips of zucchini and use that instead. But lasagna, as I understand it, is like layered pasta, tomato sauce, some sort of cheese or cheese sauce, and then meat sometimes, sometimes not. So I'm gonna be making those three layers, but vegan, healthy, good amount of protein. This is for my meal prep for the week, so yeah, let's just get started. I have the oven behind me. It is set preheating at 425 right now. Everything I'm going off of is on the back of this lasagna box. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with making the tomato sauce. I'm using this large can of tomato puree. Fire roasted tomatoes, and then these sun-dried tomatoes. And honestly, I'm just gonna mix them all together in a bowl. As for seasonings, pretty much every step I'm gonna be seasoning this. This is not what I meant to grab. Okay, I have this Mushroom Company Multi-Purpose Umami Seasoning Blend, I use it on a lot of stuff. It is from Trader Joe's. It's just salt, onions, mustard seed, mushroom powders, red and black pepper, and thyme. And I'm gonna go grab some oregano. Boom, done. Uh, next, I think I'll just make the cheese real quick. There's a lot of ways that you can make vegan cheese. Like you can do like starch based like potato or uh, nut based like cashew cream cheese is really good. And you can also make it with tofu. So that's what I'm doing today to keep the fat ratio down a little bit lower and also add some more protein into the whole thing. So I'm gonna go cut and drain this and basically just blend it in this little blender here with some nutritional yeast and that's about it. Maybe a little bit of that mushroom company. Boom, done. And I just blended it with like two or less tablespoons of some unsweetened plant milk, like original, not vanilla. Let's see, this one's Ripple. And I wanna say it's like pea protein, yeah this one. This is the consistency that I got, and this is probably like half or a little bit more of that block of tofu. And I don't know if you can see that. That's water, by the way. I'm not just dripping the cheese out. And I don't recommend trying it in its raw state. Probably won't taste good. <laughs> It'll be better cooked when the whole thing's done. All right, last component is the meat, which for me is just gonna be a bunch of vegetables. I have, let's see, I have a zucchini. I have some carrots. I have a red pepper. I have some white mushrooms and I have kale. I'm going, they're all washed. I'm going to peel and cut it and throw all these into the food processor. Get them all very small, not like a paste, just like chopped very, very finely. All right, here it is. You can see it's not like a paste. These are all just very small 
pieces here. And I'm going to pop this into a pan and cook it just a little bit and I'm going to season them of course again with this umami blend and the oregano. I'm not going to film that but I will be right back. Okay so all of the components are cooked now. Here is the filling here. You can kind of see that. While it was cooking, I added in some minced garlic and some dehydrated chopped onion. Now I'm just gonna start layering stuff. Covered with foil and bake for 40 minutes. Now it's supposed to rest for 15 more minutes. It worked. It tastes like lasagna. Nice. nice. That's it. I just need to put them all in their own meal prep containers. Not too shabby. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the links in the description and support my Patreon if you can. And of course, like and subscribe. New videos every Tuesday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.